Let's resume the game. Before we get too far into this, I want to say real quickly what happened last video. We won... Let's see. We won the invitation to Governor Marley's party over on Booty Island. Very important. Let me look at it. You were cordially invited to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras blowout. Don't forget to bring this invitation when you pick up your complimentary costume. Please present invitation at door and wear your costume. Okay, and then we got uh, circus tickets. It's a ticket to some circus show, the Fettuccini Brothers. Okay, and we also got money. So we got even more money added to our collection of money that we have. Um, we also left uh, Scab Island as well. So everything we got since then would be the Parrot Chow bag. Uh, we have a map of the three islands that we can travel to. Uh, the stick we got... Where's the stick? Oh no, this was... We were put in jail. So we got the stick to use to get the bone. To get the dog. And then that's the key for the jail cell. This is another envelope, which we can open now. There's a banana in here. And an organ. Okay. And then of course we got our envelope from jail, which had all of our stuff in it. I don't think there's anything else that was new. That's about it. So, just wanted to kind of go over some stuff as to what happened in the last video so you guys remember. I'm not going to do like the little recaps like I have done in the past for some of the games. I will continue doing that with King's Quest, but uh, I'm not doing it with these ones here. Uh, we can go into the library now. Let's do that. Don't oh, open the door. Sorry. It's not going to let me do it. Oh, come on. I've had problems with this before. It's not open. I might have to go back to the old version to do this. Yeah, it's not letting me. So I have to go back to the old lo old look of this. It's just not letting me because my mouse goes outside the screen. So I have to do it this way. So we go open lighthouse. There's a model lighthouse lens inside. This is a library. We'll go back here. And we'll pick it up. And we'll check out the card catalog to find out what books we need. And just so you guys know, I kind of already know which books we need, so I'm going to pick books that may seem kind of weird that we're getting them. But, yeah. So we need a book of voodoo recipes. So we go into R for recipe. There we go, that's the one. The Joy of Hex. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. And then we need one about uh, shipwreck disasters. Great shipwrecks of our century, that's what I need. Nope. Where is it? Is it this one? There, that one. Great shipwrecks of our century. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. And then we just need one other book. It can be anything. So, I don't know. There's some good ones, I'm sure, in here. I'm just going to go through a few of them. I'm going to see if I can find one that I really... That I really want to get. I should have looked up to see if there was anything good. Who's part of the truck? Why? I blew up the truck. One of three points worst. Should I get that? Uh, I don't know. Where I blew up the truck? When I blew up the truck? Okay. We'll do one of the. I. Uh, where I blew up the truck. Let's do that. Where I blew up LeChuck. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. I've had it with this card catalog. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll just go over here first, and let's talk to the librarian.
Hi, I'm looking for a book. Shh! This is a library. Whisper! Now, what is it? Why do you have a model lighthouse here? There's a new lighthouse being built in town. That is a scale model of what it will look like. Does it work? It wouldn't be much of a lighthouse if it didn't, now would it? Actually, I meant the model. Oh. Yes, normally the model works too. The bulb is burned out right now, but there's a scaled-down lens inside. I'm looking for a book. Do you have a library card? No. How do I get one? I'll need some personal information. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Address? 221B Baker Street. Age? So, in this game, he's 19. But, maybe we could use this to our advantage if she's asking our age? 19, uh, 21. Occupation? Pirate. Vices? Murder, arson, thievery, that sort of thing. I see. Alright, your library card will be mailed to the address you gave me. In the meantime, take this temporary card. You may check books out of the library, but only four at a time. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. What book are you looking for? I'd like Where I Blew Up LeChuck. Okay, here you go. Anything else? Do you have great shipwrecks of our century? Okay, here you go. Anything else? Could you find the joy of Hex? Okay, here you go. That's your limit. You'll have to give some books back before you can check out any more. Now, if you guys remember, uh, the voodoo lady gave us a book from the library here. This one here. So, uh, we're going to read this one now. There was one other book that I wanted to pick up from here. Uh, I forgot to check the card catalog for it. There is a reason, but story reasons, I wanted to kind of do this, so um, we'll just we'll look at this and we'll give it back and then I'll do my little story reason for getting the next book. So, let's look at it. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! I wonder if there's any relation. They bury their treasure along with plenty of, uh-oh, booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Rapscallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaning at the time. So that was some interesting information about the people who had the map pieces. And it also gives you a little bit of an idea as to where the map pieces are. So... Hope you guys paid attention to that. Uh, let's give that book back to the librarian, though. Thank you. And we'll go over to the card catalog thing and do my completely unnecessary looking for the other, other thing. Um, I don't remember where it is. Uh. 
Oh uh, shoot. Where did it where is it? Maybe it's in here. Famous pirate quotations. Famous pirate quotations. Hmm. I'll have to remember that. I've had it with this card catalog. Now we'll talk to her. Uh, pardon me, miss. What do you want this time? I'm looking for a book. What book are you looking for? Could you find famous pirate quotations? book has been checked out by Governor Fat. Anything else? I won't be needing any more books just now. Remember, silence is golden. Okay. So that gives us the clue that the book is in Governor, Governor Fat's mansion. So that'll come in handy shortly. For now, let's check out the pier. Caught anything yet? Are you kidding? I reached my limit hours ago. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, a mighty fisherman. Oh, you are, are you? I'm the best fisherman in these isles. Oh, I beg to differ with you. I'm the best fisherman in these isles. You? Why, you couldn't catch fish at a restaurant. The pike I catch make Pike's Peak look like an anthill. That's why I'm known as the Blowfish. I'm known as the Sturgeon Surgeon. Listen, bait for brains. I'm the best around, and that is that. Not if your bait is as tiny as your brain. Perhaps you'd like to make a small wager, eh, Mr. Fisherman? What sort of wager were you thinking of? If you can catch a bigger fish than I can, I'll give you my prize-winning fishing pole. Sounds fair. If I catch a bigger fish than you, you have to eat it. Raw. Ooh, you mean on rice with a little wasabi and soy sauce? No. Plain cold and with the head still on it. What do you say? All right. It's a bet. Great! I am really looking forward to making you eat my catch. What with all the sewage from Governor Fat's mansion, the fish are usually pretty gross. I never eat mine. Just sell them to restaurants. Best get fishing, buddy. <laughs> okay, well. We'll have to keep our eye out for where we can fish some big fish. Excuse me, aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Kate Capsize. You must have me confused with someone else. Kate, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification. My ID is on my ship. Wait here while I go and get it. Nice try, Guybrush. I don't know how you got out of the jail, but I'm taking you back in. So we caught Kate, and she's in jail now. Hold it! You can't go up there! Hey, aren't you supposed to be in jail? You must be confusing me with my cousin, Guybrush. 
Oh, I see. The resemblance is uncanny. Can I go upstairs? I'm sorry, but the governor doesn't want to be disturbed while he's eating. When will the governor be finished eating? <laughs> I think there's a fire in the kitchen. Really? I'd better check it out. Well, we fooled him. Let's go upstairs. The cover says, famous pirate quotations. So we need that one. But first I want to read the book of Where I Blew Up LeChuck. Where I Blew Up LeChuck. Ugh, the catalog was right. This is pretty bad. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna try to switch the books. Perfect. Now we got the book we need and got rid of the book we didn't need. It says, trespassers not delivering foodstuffs will be persecuted. Okay, back to the wharf. I'm running out of my drink. Sad face. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. We have to rescue Kate since it's our fault that she was put in jail. And of course we will need her later, so... Idiots. They can't keep me locked up. We can't talk to her. Idiots. Well, let's get out. They can't keep me locked up. Hey! Uh-oh. I can explain, I- Thanks for letting me out of there. You'll have to excuse me if I don't stick around. I've got to find out who framed me. Well, she doesn't think it's us, so let's grab her envelope. Uh, pick up. And head out. And well, we are done on this island here. Uh, I'm trying to think, should we... We probably should go back to Scab Island and get some stuff done. I thought we'd be going a little longer, and we could be, but there's some stuff we can do on Scab Island, so let's go do that. Where do you want to go? And we got the long ship ride. I think this one's shorter though. I think. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong, actually. It might be the longest one. Or maybe they're all the same length. Ooh, maybe. I'll have to take each one and see. We got a couple of things we can do at Scab Island. So that's probably how we'll finish up this video today, is being at Scab Island. But uh, we'll get a lot done, I think. And some fun stuff too. Back at Wood Tick already. Okay. Uh, things we need to do. We don't really even need to be at Wood Tick. There is a part coming up later where we will need to be back here. So you know what? Let's, let's not. What was I coming here for then? Let me think. Oh, we do need to be in Wood Tech. Never mind. Scratch that. Let's 
go down the hatch. You're supposed to be cooking. I had to buy some eggs. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. Um, we have this monkey here. He's cute. Hey, what'd you do to my piano player? Can we give him the organ? Play. Oh, I can't give it to him. Darn, okay. We can just pick him up now. Go ahead and take my entertainment. Thanks for nothing, buddy. <laughs> okay. Now it is time to finally get some drinks. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo Le Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. Will you accept a temporary library card? Let me see it. Is Guy Brush a French name? No, actually, it's a fictional name. Oh, all right. Can I get you that drink now? Yeah, I could really use it. Name your poison. What do you got? Well, we have some specialty drinks here at the Bloody Lip, like Yellowbeard's Baby, Bloody Stump, and Blue Whale. Now, we only need two of those for this game, but I'm going to get all three, so let's go through it. I'll have Yellowbeard's Baby. Well, you can try, but I don't think nature's on your side. <laughs> Just give me the drink, please. Hey, I have to crack jokes. It's a union thing. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. And here's a complimentary crazy straw. We give them to all new customers of the Bloody Lip. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. Give me a bloody stump. I can't. Chainsaw's out of gas. Ha 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 ha. Hilarious. Yeah, I cracked myself up. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. Mix me up a blue whale. Sorry, blender's not big enough. <laughs> Oh, but seriously, that'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows! Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Okay. So we got all those drinks, and if you guys remember back when we were first coming into this bar, and Largo came down, he took a drink of his drink, and then spit all the way over at the wall. And the color of that was a little hint as well as the spit. So let's mix blue and yellow together to get green. And we'll use the crazy straw on the green stuff. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. We'll take it outside then. No spitting in here. Unless you're Largo, of course. Okay, so that's important stuff. We'll head back up here. Because we are now done in here, we won't be back for the rest of the game. Let's go into over here where Wally was. Remember, we took his monocle. Where is that thing? So we don't have to do this right now. I but swear I put it right here. But we will. We'll give him the lens. I hope I didn't lose it. Ah, that'll work. Thanks. Now we don't have to do that right now because we don't need him just yet, but I thought, why not? Get it out of the way. And I think that that's it for everything in this area. We will be coming back here again in the future. Um, it's not right now. We're not quite ready yet. Uh, anything else I need to do here? Or is that it? Um, let's finish this off with going to the beach. Okay. And that's where we'll end this and we'll start. So.
Got one thing we can do now, and I thought might as well do it now because we're about to finish this video, so... He's back! Well, you guys can stop worrying about Largo. He's history. Oh, really? He must have finally got that nasty letter I wrote. You sure can write a mean letter, Fink. Do you guys know any piratey songs? Sure, Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab than a Scab on a pirate. And if you'll listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly, the weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about Scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force, and no jail in which to ride. That was beautiful. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Okay, here's one about a pirate, his parrot, and a tragic day at sea. You're not gonna sing, Polly the Squawker lives in Davy Jones' locker, are you? You know that one always makes me cry. Sorry, Bart. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Let me try one. Oh, 100 bottles of beer on the wall, 100 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around, 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 98 bottles of beer on the wall. Four. Oh, four bottles of beer on the wall. Four bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Three bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, three bottles of beer on the wall. Three bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Two bottles of beer on the wall. So this is where we'll end it. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Two bottles Enjoy of beer. the rest of this you take as we one down, pass it get around. ready for the... 508. 508 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, 508 bottles of beer on the wall. 508 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 507.